Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we'll be going over how to earn quick cash in Red Dead Online. Now this is not something that's going to make you super rich, it's not an exploit or anything like that. All it is, is hunting and knowing where to hunt. Let's get started. The most important aspect of this whole thing is having a Vermint Rifle. Buy it if you can, save up for it if you can't, because getting the perfect hides off of the small game is a big part of earning cash. If you're the right level and you can afford it, a bow is also advised. This just makes it easier to take down deer cleanly and they are also valuable. Hides from them, boar as well. Where we're gonna start is in Strawberry, West Elizabeth. I recommend starting like at dawn. You can do it at night, it's just some of the animals don't appear. You're gonna follow the road out of Strawberry to the west, to Owojila. Here you'll find ducks and beavers, not a big deal. Up here, you'll find boar. Just keep following the road. The important thing to do on the road is keep your hunter vision open and have your vermin rifle out. There are tons of rabbits, squirrels, raccoons, muskrats, beavers, skunks, all sorts of things all over the ground when you're riding through this road. Here's just one example. I accidentally shot the silver fox, but there was a rabbit, another fox, also a turkey and something running off in the distance. Another thing running off in the distance. They just come out of the woods on this road. And that's what you're after. You're after the hides of the smaller creatures like the skunk. Now you'll see that was only a one star skunk. The, the uh, body itself, not very valuable. However, with the vermin rifle, there's still a very good chance, as you'll see right here, of getting a perfect hide even off of a one star small game creature. Happens with rabbits, muskrats, all of them. So if you have the vermin rifle, you can stack 10 of each hide, which is like, um, depending on the hide, can earn you about 12 bucks. Other things you want to look out for are loons, specifically the ducks called loons. They have loon feathers, which are worth 120 each. You can carry 10 of them. That's another 12 bucks. So you combine that with the perfect rabbit hides, perfect skunk hides, perfect muskrat hides, whatever hides you got and you're getting up into the $40, $50 range. Now, time-wise, you can do a run of this in about 30 minutes, come back home with around $60 to $70, which I know isn't like game-breaking, but it's solid. You'll be able to afford stuff very quickly if you keep doing it. Most importantly, it isn't an exploit, so Rockstar can't F you for it. You're gonna be able to keep all your cash. There's also what you wanna put on the back of your horse. I generally go with a perfect deer corpse. You can, of course, put a large hide back there, such as a bear's or an elk's or a moose or something like that. Um, elk hide and black bear hide do not make as much as a perfect deer corpse. I don't know about the moose hide. I haven't got a perfect one of those yet. A grizzly bear perfect hide, if you can somehow manage to pull that off, is the most valuable. You want that. Um, I have got a one-star mountain oh, lion. And that was pretty good too. So I imagine a perfect one of those, probably also very valuable. On the left and right, I will normally just put a perfect rabbit corpse, um, turkey corpse, whatever I can find really. Rabbits seem to be the most valuable. Um, as long as they're in perfect condition, I will put them there. Remember, your main focus here is getting the small game. You can fit a lot more of their hides into your pack. So you wanna do that. Uh, rats and squirrels, even little birds, you can also put those in your pack as well. So if they're along the road, I wouldn't stop to just pick up a rat, but if there's a rabbit corpse and a rat, might as well get them both. The gist of it by now, so I'm just gonna kinda go over what you should look out for. Skunk pelts, 95 cents, not really valuable. Eagle feathers, 150, very valuable. Combine that with loon feathers, 120. And if you can get 10 of each, eagles are a lot harder to find than loons. Then there you go, you're rocking 12, 15 bucks. That's 27 bucks right there. Here's your perfect uh, raccoon pelts, elk antlers. Don't bring the elk hide, but if you get an elk, take its antlers. There's your normal feathers, not valuable. Again, turkey feathers, 45 cents, whatever, just grab them. Rabbit pelts, 115 each. Oh, and I didn't even mention, you're gonna get so much meat as well. You're gonna sell all that. Uh, you can go cook some if you want, but sell it, and you'll make a lot of money that way too. Muskrat, pretty valuable actually. Boar pelt, not too bad. Deer pelts, there you go, 225. Perfect rabbit corpse, 350. Perfect deer carcass, $7. 
and then turkey was two dollars. So between the turkey and the rabbit, obviously you want the rabbit. This is currently my number one hunting spot. If I find a better spot, I will make another video to update you guys. But if you want to get some cash quick, this is the spot to do it. So all in all, this took me about 35 minutes. I did do a little bit of a detour and feel free to detour. There's plenty of other animals around that you can hunt that are worth um, meat and hides as well. But just make sure you kind of stay near that road to get your small game. In about 35 minutes, you can earn probably 60, 70 bucks. No problem. All right, that will do it for me. If you liked what you saw and got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.